high frequency irregular sight word vocabulary. So that's a tongue twister, right? That's a long phrase. It's got a lot of parts to it. The first part is high frequency words. Those are those words that we want students to rapidly recognize as they read. So this is, these are the words that we want them to spot and, and not even go through the decoding process. We want them to spot and recognize so they have automaticity with these high frequency words. Sometimes they're called sight words, sometimes they're called pop words. These are these high frequency words that we want students to recognize right away. Within this set of high frequency words, these words that we want them to recognize right away, we have two groups. One are regular words and others are irregular. And that's actually the group we're gonna look at now. The regular words are the ones that you can use phonics to decode. So cat is a CVC word, right? So some words you can use phonics to decode. In other words, irregular high frequency words you can't. And these are the words that you have here. Irregular sight words are words like the, and, of, some. Can you see these ones here? The, think about the. Do you hear an A sound in there? It should be the, right? It should be the, but it's the. So that's a little irregular. That would take some time. You'd have to teach that student. When you see the, the T-H-E, that doesn't say uh, the, it says the. And you'd have to teach that. They'd have, have to memorize that irregular word. Or words like um, um, some. You see the word some right above my head right here? Ooh, right there, some. Do you, there's not a, a, a long O or short O there. It's a U sound. So that, again, would be a word that you'd have to clarify. Or how about the word what? Here you go. See that word what? Now, part of the word what, listen closely, is regular. The WH is a constant digraph. It, it's regular. It makes the what sound. The T is regular. It makes the T sound. But that vowel there, let me just move myself over a little bit. That, that vowel, right? Oops, can't do that. Let me, let me move it. Uh, there we go. That vowel right there right there okay it's not long a it's not short a it's not what it's not wait it's what so there's an irregular sound there and you couldn't teach that in a phonics rule so that's what makes these high frequency irregular sight words and these are ones which we can if we start to see a pattern in the students mistakes here we can see there's an example here the sentence should read let me move to the side it should read uh, what she really, and the student said, went she really. Now, what would be a sight word that they missed? If we started to see them missing a whole bunch of high frequency irregular sight words, then that could be an area of need that we'd have to address to help them build their oral fluency. So we wanna know what this is, high frequency irregular sight words. So if we see this common mistake, we can spot it and we can sort of correctly uh, diagnose it and put it in our essays. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is the first one, the, the first probably one of the more common ones to spot. Here's another one. 